Hi guys, it's Maca Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are going to be doing the song No Body, No Crime by, yeah you guessed it, Taylor fucking Swift. As far as I'm aware this is a story about a murder and I'm going to assume that the point of the story is if there's no body then there's no crime. Slight spoilers, you might have made the title slightly more vague, but you know what, it's absolutely fine. We're gonna go in, we're gonna listen to the story, we're gonna see if me and my inability to pay attention to lyrics can actually decipher the story, and then we're gonna decide how emo is No Body No Crime by Taylor Swift. Okay, there's, there's a, it's a lyric video for good. SD's a friend of mine. We meet up every Tuesday night for dinner and a glass of wine. SD's been losing sleep. Her husband's acting different and it smells like infidelity. She says that ain't my Merlot on his mouth. My jewelry on our joint account No, there ain't no doubt I think I'm gonna call him out She says, I think he did it First mistake, isn't it really? Isn't it? Like, if you're gonna go and buy a woman jewelry That's no your woman You don't use a joint account You set up sucking in the Caymans Obviously it takes a wee bit of effort, but say, right, say you're married, right, you're out, you, and you're out at a club, for whatever reason, right, you're out at a club, woman approaches, you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna hit this tonight. The first thing you do, the first thing you do, get on your phone, and set up a joint account in the Caymans, because if you want to treat that woman, not a joint account, a private account in the Caymans, because if you want to treat that woman, you're gonna need private account in the Caymans that the wife has no access to or else she's gonna get the bill she's gonna go sis the, the husband's at fault for things yeah clearly but his biggest mistake is not having the foresight to set up that account that's where I'm at so far I'm I'm just trying to follow the story and I'm trying to I figure if I follow the story and then give my take on it I don't really particularly want to talk about the music because I've been doing that for every single song so far. I've never really delved into Taylor's lyrics in a deep way and I feel like this is a good opportunity to do that. So let's let's just go. Let's let's do that. Um, we'll go back a wee bit because I missed that line. And it's important. I know it is. Ain't no doubt I think I'm gonna call him out She says I think he did it But I just can't prove it I think he did it, but I just can't prove it. I think he did it, but I just can't prove it. No, nobody, no crime, but I ain't letting up until the day I die. SD stupid. We've just explained it, and she knows she's got all the evidence. All she needs to do print off the fucking joint account and go, whoa. Where's my jewellery? It's, it's a boot here somewhere. Hurry up. Where's my fucking necklace? This is a country song. This is a country song through and through. This has got, I mean, the music's country for a start. The lyrics. <laughs> the lyrics are very much, let's just go all in with the country. And you know what? I don't mind it. I don't mind it because she's got enough of an indie pop edge to make it so that it's not country country. It's more kind of like Americana. Which is, I'm fine with that. I get it. Yeah. SD wasn't there. Tuesday night at all, have gotten out of job or anywhere. He reports his missing wife. And I noticed when I passed this house, his truck has got some brand new tires. Okay, there's a twist I wasn't expecting. I was expecting Esty was going to murder the husband for doing the cheating thing. Oh no, she took my advice. She took, she take my, she took, take, she took my advice, went up to him and went, oh, where's my jewellery? 
Then he went, listen, it's getting engraved. It's supposed to be an, an, a, a, a present for the wedding anniversary. And she's went, what the fuck? When, when do you think the wedding anniversary is? And he's like, eh. Uh, eight, 8th of July and she's like it was last week it was last fucking week are you mental are you mental where's that joke what the hell are you done and then he's went oh, um, dude, what a prick and his mistress moved in sleeps in Estes bed and everything no there ain't no doubt somebody's gotta catch him out I think he did it, but I just can't prove it. I think he did it, but I just can't prove it. I think he did it, but I just can't prove it. No, nobody, no crime. But I ain't letting up until the day I die. Right, okay, far be it for me to sit there and make fun of Taylor Swift, right, because I know he's like her a wee bit, right, but I say this, I say, I'm reticent, I'm reticent to say this, but this song kind of makes me suspect that Taylor Swift, how, how best to phrase this, might be a fucking idiot. And I'll tell you why, because I know you're like, well, what the fuck, that's, that's a bit of a harsh thing you've just said there, Mark, but let, uh, he was useless at the cheating. He was useless at the cheating. Didn't he set up the Cayman's account? How is he getting away with the murder? She's like, oh, I've, I've, there's no way for me to prove this. How? He's probably left the blood all over the fucking kitchen. He's an idiot. If she can't catch him, she's an idiot, because he's definitely fucked up somewhere. He's definitely, he doesn't even think things through. We know this already. Nah. I think he did it. No, no. He did it. Good thing my daddy made me get a boating license when I was 15. And I've cleaned enough houses to know how to cover up a scene. Good thing Estee's sister's gonna swear she was with me. She was with me, dude. Good thing <laughs> his mistress took out a- I'm sorry, you can't throw that fucking in there. You cannot throw that in there. She, she was with me, dude. <laughs> Fuck off. I get it for, from, a, from a story sense. That, that throws you right the fuck out of that song. I need to go back because I had no idea where we're at with the story. Because <laughs> I'm stupid. Letting up until the day I die. Oh, no. I know she's a very nice but I don't know. I still pay attention. No, no, he did. Good thing my daddy made me get a boating license when I was 15. And I've cleaned enough houses to know how to cover up a scene. Good thing Estee's sister's gonna swear she was with me. She was with me, dude. Good thing his mistress took out a big life insurance policy. They think she did it, but they just can't prove it. They think she did it, but they just can't prove it. She thinks I did it, but she just can't prove it. I'm sorry, man. Oh, that just ended me. That's such a good comment. I've cleaned houses, so I know how a murder scene's been cleaned up. What fucking houses have you been going to? What do you want me to do for you today, sir? Um, what, what's needing cleaned out today? Well, uh, <laughs> don't panic, but <laughs> the kitchen is even with blood. There's a towel. Do, do what you need today. Do what you need today. It's not the same. Yeah, no, nobody, no crime. I wasn't letting up until the day. He, no, nobody, no crime. I wasn't letting up until the day. He, no, nobody, no crime. I wasn't letting up until the day. He. 
trying to think now how, how would I dispose of a body? Here's what I would do, right? I've now... I've got it. So what you do is, you kill somebody. The minute that the body goes missing, the police are then going to investigate it. And there's a good chance that you're connected to whoever it is that you've killed. So you instantly come under suspicion. Okay? You want to try and avoid that. So what you do is... You kill that body, skin that body, put the skin on so that you become that person and then they aren't the ones who's disappeared, you're the one that's disappeared. You never get suspected as being the one that killed the person because they think that you're dead. <laughs> I don't know how you then get out of that situation. If that is the issue that you've got, right, you then become a suspect in the murder of yourself whilst you're walking around wearing a skin suit. What you actually do then is, right, is take the skin suit off, wash yourself down, come back from the dead and the police go, wait, so you just disappeared this full time. Alright, but okay, now this person's disappeared and we need to investigate that. Then you put the skin suit back on and you just keep on repeating that forever. You just keep on repeating taking the skin on and off until the police get bored. <laughs> and you live a dual life. You live a dual life and that's just where you're at. If the FBI are watching, hi guys. <laughs> you're never gonna fucking catch me. I'm too smart for you cunts. Just saying, right? But to make it easier for you, install a zipper in the back. Just to make it, just to make it so it's... Oh, time saving. It's time saving. Anyway, that, <laughs> that was Nobody No Crime by Taylor Swift. Let's go and see how emo that song was. In terms of twinkly guitars, I'm going to say twinkly guitars is about here. And I'm going to say the singing, the singing wasn't particularly overwrought or even, or even particularly wrought. But that's because it was telling a story very, very well. So it was, it was about there. So, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below, how would you dispose of a body? <laughs> Just in case any... Any, like, in enforcement agencies out there are watching. Um, yeah. How about that? How about that? This went off the rails. This one went off the rails. Listen, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that you had to watch this. I promise the next one will be no different. I've been Mark Abusi, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.